Hi everyone, Gary here from Restore Solutions. This is an educational video about the Trotec T660. So let's show it how, how it works. So this is a dielectric meter. So how it works is when you turn it on, what it does, it actually calibrates. So you wanna be not touching anywhere near the actual ball because it actually pick up the moisture in your hands. So we've calibrated. Now, let me show you a little bit about the menu side of things. So then we've got the left and right arrows up and down. We've got the tick button, the back button, and we've got the menu button. So the menu buttons are hold, right? So with that, we've got a siren that we can preset. So if you go to the siren, we can actually preset what we want to have on the siren. Okay. What number we want it to set to to go off. Right, we go back. Also here, you've got three settings here in the menu. CE number two setting is for concrete. AN is for screeds and grout. No, zero is for building materials. So let's go back to concrete. And with concrete, you've got some different settings here also. See, it's on setting number two, which is concrete. Number one was screeds and grout. And number zero is for building materials. So the CM, see the CM's going there. It's on, it's off. The CM, what we want to do with the CM is when we check the concrete, we want to have it under 2% up the top here. By having it under 2%, that's like under 75% relative humidity with a sleeve test. So this will go down 40 mil into the concrete. Okay, so it's a very, very effective meter for concrete testing. So what we're gonna do is go back from there. And we'll go into the building materials. So with the building materials, it's a relative scale. So I'm just going to show you on this wall over here. Right, we've got a reading. And people say, what does that reading mean? So it's all relevant. It's a relevant scale reading. So what, the, what it does is you've got to go find a dry area with that meter. And then what you've got to do with it is you've got to go, okay, so in our dry area, we're reading 8 nine, eight. So we're getting a rough average between eight and nine. Now, if I check over this side and I'm going down here and I've checked it and it's reading, say, 15, what am I picking up there? Oh, we've got 10. I might have picked up a stud. Okay. I might be picking up a stud there. So it's all, it's not a percentage. It's a relative scale. It's all relative. So once you get to know this meter, you're going to know that Giprock's roughly going to be between this and this. You're going to know hardwood timber is going to be a little bit different. So you can use this on timber. You can use this on, um, you know, your Giprock. You can use it on block work. You can use it on whatever you want to use it on. So let's go back to the settings. So what else we've got? We've got the, um, the calibration over here. So we can actually calibrate it, right? If it's plus or minus or add, okay? And that's really it. It is self-calibrating itself. So it does, and it, from the main menu, if you just leave it, it does go back. So it's a very, very good meter, very easy to use. And you've got your three modes. Most of your scan meters will either do timber or concrete. This will do both. That's what I love about this meter. So, check out our website, restoresolutions.com.au. Hope that's an easy way to understand how the T660 works. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks for watching.